Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing really well. Today I'm going to be doing a review slash comparison of two of my favourite Chanel handbags, which are sitting right here. Firstly, I'm going to talk about the classic Chanel flap, and then I'm going to compare it to the boy Chanel. Two of my favourite handbags in my collection, and both of them are in different leathers and different styles, so I thought it'd be good to do a little comparison video. So let's get started with this bag. This is called the classic Chanel flap. Now I have got this in the medium size. Now on the website they don't call it the medium size, they've just called it the classic flap. So this size is actually an in-between size. There is two sizes that are smaller, which is the small size and then the mini size, and then two sizes which are bigger, which is the large and the maxi. So I've gone for one that's right in between and probably one of the more classic sizes I guess, the size that majority of people go for, that's why I guess it's now just called the classic handbag. So I've got mine in caviar leather, which is a grained calfskin, and I've got gold hardware. So the back of the bag just has one pocket, the front of the bag has the classic CC turn lock. So the interior of the bag looks like so, again here is the grained calfskin. Mine is a double flap. It is from 2016 and I bought it at the boutique, so it is the double flap now. And the interior has one zipper here. Now this zipper is not actually a pocket. I believe Coco Chanel used to hide her love letters in here, but it is not a pocket anymore. So it's just a zipper just for the story maybe. And then at the back we have just a little slip pocket. So then we lift up this flap and it's in the classic burgundy color that Chanel is quite famous for. And we've got the CC there and it says Chanel made in France in gold lettering just there. So the interior of the bag is just one big pocket and then two slots on either side and a lipstick um, holder in the middle. The interior is a soft leather, it's not the grained calfskin that's on the outside. All classic flaps come with this special dust bag, I guess, which is just says Chanel on the front, and on the interior it's just got a image of Coco Chanel. The chain strap on the bag I have is just a shoulder strap, and it has got the gold hardware with the leather entwined in between the gold. The strap also can be worn in multiple ways, so you can double the strap and wear it even shorter. I never really do that because I don't like that length. I always eat, I always keep it at this length and wear it um, on my shoulder or crossbody. So let's talk about measurements of the bag. So diagonally this bag measures 28 centimeters and width it's roughly 25 centimeters and in height roughly 14 centimeters. And the depth of the bag is 6 centimeters. The shoulder drop from the shoulder length to the bag here is 41 centimeters so it is ideally meant to be worn on the shoulder but because I'm quite short I can just pull it off crossbody but it sits a little bit higher which I kind of like. That was one of the reasons that drew me to this bag was the fact that it wasn't a crossbody bag. The other sizes had longer straps which were meant to be worn more crossbody and I thought this was such a classic elegant bag that I wanted it to sit on my shoulder really nicely and not be too long. So that was one of the biggest draws to this bag. Now this bag comes in many leather options like lambskin, grain calf skin, exotics like snake skin, stingray. But for me I always wanted to go for the caviar leather because it is really durable. It is um, rigid so it's not going to lose its shape as quickly as the lambskin and it's going to be less prone to scratching. If it is too deep of a scratch that is really hard to get out and it's probably more of a negative for this bag because the deep scratches show quite easily but because it's much more durable deep scratches are much less likely. I would suggest if you are looking for your first Chanel bag I would go for grain calfskin. I would totally recommend that because you don't have to baby it as much and it's really sad when you buy a lambskin bag and you get your first scratch. It's really devastating. That's happened to me before. So I would tr truly recommend this um, grained calfskin, especially if it's your first bag. I really like this size for my height and body shape and I thought it was the perfect size. And I picked gold hardware because I like gold jewelry. Pretty much all of my jewelry is gold, so when I do have the option, I always go for gold. Now, this currently retails for 8,010 Australian dollars, so I do believe the price has just recently gone up. I know that in America, the, there was a price increase coming, so I do believe that has happened here in Australia too. I bought this in 2016. I paid a lot less. It was probably the early 7,000s, if I remember correctly. Personally, 
I would go with the pre-loved option if you can. There are so many of these bags available. It is such a classic and there's lots available on the pre-loved market and you can really get some for some really good prices. You don't have to pay the, the really high 8010 price tag for this bag. For me this bag has worn really well. There has been a few minor issues which I will talk through now. So I've got a little dent here. The shape has just slightly um, moved out of place there and that's my fault because I took this traveling and I went on a plane and it got stuck in between my body and the seat and I didn't notice and it dented quite bad because it's such a rigid shape. If you really put a lot of pressure on it, it will get damaged. So obviously I should have been a little bit more careful. So that was on me. The next thing is probably the, the thing that annoys me the most about this bag is here we've got a dent from this zipper pull. So sometimes when you're in a rush, like when you're at the shops or whatever and you just shut your bag, you forget about the zipper pull and sometimes it will dent in that spot because it might be in an awkward position. And that for me is really frustrating because this zipper pull does not do anything. It's not a zip for an actual compartment. So that for me is annoying because all it's really doing is damaging my bag. It's not functional and when I see this dent I do get really aggravated especially because it's in the grained calfskin part so you can't really get that dent out is it is there permanently now so that for me was really disappointing another thing that I don't like is the double flap it's actually quite hard to pop into its popper especially when the bag has stuff in it so I kind of just leave it out and just shut the bag like that but what happens sometimes is it's actually making this piece of leather lose its shape there's like a little dent just there and that's from the popper so that for me is again something frustrating because the double flap is not as functional as it could be if you can and if you are going the pre-loved route I would definitely check for single flaps before you go for the double flap overall I do really like this bag I think it's a beautiful bag it's definitely an all-time class and I wouldn't change it like I love the black I love the gold for me I wouldn't pick it over another color it is the perfect combo for me and I do love it however I probably would not buy another classic flap and if I did I try to look the pre-loved way but I probably wouldn't buy another classic flap soon and also because I have a lot of other items on my wish list I have ticked this off and I'm moving on to other items so I probably wouldn't buy another classic flap and I do believe the brand new retail price tag is really really steep although I will say this is a full leather bag so it is you are kind of getting your money's worth it's again totally up to you I think the price I paid was a little bit steep but it was for me it was worth the investment it is an investment bag after all and if you buy a classic color that's classic to you it can last forever and black is just a classic color so this bag should last me and will last me forever so let's see what can fit inside this so here is the space we are working with. So I always like to take um, my stuff in a little pouch. So this is a mini pochette. So I just slide that in here on the side. And the next item I always carry with me is my keys. So I'll just slide that in the side and pop my car key just lean in over there. And then I have my six card slot card holder there which just fits in there and the only other thing that I can fit easily is my cell phone this is an iPhone 10 so I probably have a little bit of space just there for something really little but my mini pochette is empty so usually I don't have that much space and so then we can shut that up quite nicely so that's pretty much the majority of things that I can fit in here without it getting um, overstuffed and hard to shut so let's move on to the next bag which is the boy Chanel I love this bag. I got this bag in 2014 and it is probably my favorite Chanel bag. I have had moments where the classic flap has been my favorite but I think overall I really do love this bag. Um, it was my first ever Chanel handbag so maybe I have sentimental value to it but I just like the style of it. So this is a Boy Chanel. This is from the Paris Dallas collection um, that came out in the year of 2014 and it is in the color pearly black and it is in lambskin. It's called pearly black but it's actually more of a very deep blue which I actually like because in some colors it looks black but when you look at it up close it's actually a blue. This is in the medium size and now again on the website when I purchased this it was called the new medium size but on the website now this size is just called 
the boy Chanel. It doesn't have a size. There is two other sizes, just one smaller and one larger. So there's only three size options, but I have seen other sizes that come around seasonally, but I think the classics are just a small, this and a large. So I've gone for um, this color with the antique gold hardware. The bag has the classic boy um, logo and it's just one piece of leather with the quilting across. There's no pocket on the back like the classic flap. The strap on this one is a lot longer and it's got the antique gold chain with the leather strap at the top where it sits on your shoulder. This I believe is adjustable. It is on the shortest length right now but it can go one longer but I don't need it to go longer because this is already a little bit long for me and this can also be made into a double strap to wear shorter but again I don't wear it like this because I don't like where it sits on my body. So you press there and to open it up we've got the same lambskin on the interior here up to there and the inside is actually a material lining in black and there's just one slip pocket there. There's actually a lot more space in this bag in comparison to the classic flap. So the Boy Chanel comes with the normal dust bag. This is the one I received with it. So there's no special dust bag for the boy. But let's talk about dimensions. Surprisingly, it is very similar to the classic flap. I've always seen this bag is bigger, but it's actually not. So diagonally, it's 28 centimeters. Width is 25. Height is 14 and the depth here is 7 centimeters. So it's just one centimeter bigger in width and everything else is literally the same as a classic flap. The only other thing that's different is the drop from here to the bag is 47 in comparison to the classic flap, which was 41 centimeters. Again, this bag comes in a variety of leathers. You can get it in grained calfskin leather. You can get it in lambskin. You can get it in exotics. Um, for me, I I really liked the look of the boy in the lambskin. I feel like it gives it a little bit more of an elegant look because the boy is very classic but very edgy and maybe a little younger looking that's why I gravitate more towards this but I feel like getting the lambskin gave it a little bit more of a classic more elegant look so I really like the lambskin I probably wouldn't have gone for the grained calfskin and the boy because I just didn't like the look of that so I'm glad I've got one of each now with lambskin it is very delicate very easy to get scratches very easy to lose its shape or soften very quickly over time in comparison to grain calfskin. And this bag has the material lining, which is kind of disappointing. I do like a full leather bag, so for me the material lining is a little bit disappointing, but I guess it won't be as prone to scratching with the material lining. And I think because it's lambskin also, it is better that it's um, material lining. This currently retails for 6,980 Australian dollars, I believe. I haven't looked at a boy, I've just gotten it off the website, which I will link to down below. You can click the link and it goes to my blog where I've linked everything with all the info that you could possibly need. This bag has worn really well. I probably may have been a little bit more careful with this. So on the sides here that has obviously because it's lambskin it's just creased a little bit and softened quite a bit on both sides. So that is expected. The biggest damage probably would be on the top flap. As you can see there is a ton of scratches on there and that's happened because of the stuff that I carry inside. I used to have my keys on a keychain and my keys would just completely scratch the inside, which was not good. I invested in a key holder that would stop my bags from scratching and now that my newer bags don't have this problem. The only other negative thing I would say about this bag is if you can see, there's quite a big gap that goes from side to side. So if you put little items like a lipstick or a lip pencil, they can fall out. I have lost a lipstick from this bag because um, I just throw it in. So now I use a little pouch inside to hold those little things so that it doesn't fall out. So that's kind of a negative which could possibly make your bag a little bit heavier but besides that it's all right. I don't find this bag personally too heavy because there is this chain is quite heavy but I find it okay because I don't overstuff my bag so I never feel like it's too heavy but it may be heavy for some people depending on how much stuff you carry. So let's look at what fits inside this bag in comparison to the classic web. So this is the big space that we've got to work with. Again I've got the mini pochette which I'll slide in the same configuration. Again we've got the key holder so I'll just slide that up the front. Then I've got my card holder which I'll just slide at the front and my iPhone 10. So here, as you can see, there's a lot, there's space here to fit some stuff. You can even slide something 
else in there so there's a little bit more space in this bag and I think because of the bigger pocket compared to the classic flap there's a lot more room to work with. So when we shut it, it shuts super easy and because everything's in a pouch, nothing's going to fall out of the edges. So I think in terms of sizing, this one does fit a little bit more and it's a little bit easier to maneuver inside the bag. If I had to choose only one of these bags and I had no option but to keep just one, I would choose the Boy Chanel. I think just because it's a little bit edgier, a little bit younger looking and I think that's why I really like that. I mean, I'm glad that I have both and I wouldn't give it up unless I really, really had to. They're both great statements, staple pieces in my collection. And I like that even though they look both look black, they are slightly different and they are both in different leathers and styles that it does make different contributions to my wardrobe. So if you are looking to add either of these handbags into your collection, I hope this video helped, even if it was just a little bit. And if you did like this video, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.